you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got some Gridiron franchise updates coming to Madden 21. So these are the Gridiron notes. You guys already know Gridiron notes are pretty much just Madden's way of... Kind of like, I want to call them patch notes, but not patch. Like features, new features coming, just like notes about the game. So, the way it's going to work, if you guys didn't already know... We got on Twitter not too long ago, hashtag fix Madden franchise trending, because after they originally announced the first Gridiron Notes, it came pretty clear they only updated pretty much one thing in the game, X-Factors, Abilities, and soon-to-be Mutt. They didn't really touch franchise at all. It appeared that we were going to be getting the same lackluster franchise that we get every single year. So, thanks to this, as you guys see, refresh, make sure they don't update anything on here. It does appear as though we got some franchise updates because of the whole trend thing, and they did kind of announce a few weeks ago that they would have... Uh, they were going to put some more time and effort into franchise since everyone seems to care so much about it. So, hey, franchise fans. It's been about four weeks since we last spoke and want to share some of the progress. There are four key things we'd like to update you regarding franchise mode. Our franchise team, Madden as a live service, high-level franchise commitments in Madden 21 and Madden 22, your involvement as a community. Our franchise team, a uh, few community feedback. Okay. Madden as a live service. We, op we operate Madden NFL as a true live service. That means that we deliver content features, Heck, even new modes throughout the year. And Madden NFL 20 post-launch show our X-Factors. Okay, okay. So, the game by launch is only the beginning of the annual Madden 21 journey. So, pretty much what they're saying is they don't finish the game. And they add the extra stuff as the year goes on. High-level franchise commitments. Okay, so while we can't commit to an exact timeline right now, we can share areas where we're targeting meaningful change in Madden 21 and beyond. Okay, so Madden 21 post-launch support-based community feedback subjects change. So, with each update, the list may shift as our plans for Madden 21 and M22 come more to focus we will share with the community as the list evolves so first we got tuning improved progression and regression of players that's good because regression was kind of weird last year if you had any any a quarterback over 30 should not be regressing quarterback shouldn't be regressing to the, like 34 35 in my opinion just because that's kind of how it works in real life quarterback at 29 30 could just be hitting their stride in their prime so yeah i'm happy they're hopefully changing that uh they're going to improve core player progression to the future such that x factors and other abilities for the players work well with incoming rookie class. Okay, perfect. Commissioner tools, see your more detail summary down below. AI personnel management, the AI will make better team management decisions in the draft for agency and trades. I like that because the AI teams didn't seem to even draft what they needed. They don't always even play the rookies because the rookies are only 60 something overalls, so they never start them. So you never see a wave of all these brand new rookies just progressing like they should. Playoff and Super Bowl presentation, improve and refresh. X Factor and Superstar ability customization. Now that is huge. For all you guys who play franchise, you know like how it feels like if you play an online franchise. When you have a quarterback who you're progressing and you want you're not sure, like, do I make him a field general to get the guaranteed great abilities? Or do I make him an improviser and hope there's a slim chance he gets dash and dead eye? Or he gets escape artist and you're like, is it worth doing that whole thing and struggling with your quarterback's accuracy just to get it there? So you take field general, you get the guaranteed dead eye abilities, you get the guaranteed conductor slash protect, any of those other abilities. In my opinion, I always take the safe route, but this would be cool if I can just make a scrambler and I automatically can give him escape bars. Like all, all I say, he has five slots. You pick each ability you want. That'd be super cool. Career stats, UI, improved UI, showing historical player performances, more immersion and depth on how players have progressed in your franchise. Trade logic, more fidelity, depth and authenticity. Yeah, a trade log, trade logic has just been so off. There's times you can you can trade for a Hall of Fame player who's like like Fletcher Cox, who's like 30, who still has like or 29, who has like three or four good years left in that league. And you can get him for like a pick. But then there's other guys, like a young guy, like a an unproven backup rookie that's not even like a first rounder, like a second rounder. You, you couldn't trade anything for him. Or a quarterback like Baker Mayfield you could struggle to get. Versus there's been like glitches where you can get like David Johnson super easily. I just hope things are a little bit more accurate and it doesn't and some people are just untouchable, which I understand that's that's real, but like also franchise players want to be able to get some players. If you you should there should be a route, you know. I think there should be more than three trade spots also because in real life there is. There should be at least like four or five because it's very difficult to sometimes make a trade even without that. Uh, retirement UI, better insight into retirement each season to allow players to react and manage. Playoffs update, add an authentic playoff bracket screen to show who's in, who's won, and who's next. I think that's really cool. Commissioner tools is a large bucket of items with lots of opportunities and a lot of work. We see this as something we'll continue to work on to give you more control in the years ahead. Ability to undo transaction, reducing friction and control over player movement, control contracts and trades. I think that's good. Now, what if you're in an online league and someone accidentally offers a seven-year, 150 million because they hit back once, or their brother did it, or anything, and now the franchise is ruined and you got to clear the cap penalty and you know the whole thing? Just undo it. 
reducing friction, control over player movement contracts and trades. So you can also do like real trades and then the commissioner of your league can just go ahead and just see what's there. Decline, reject, so having to like send it over the phone, the whole thing. I don't know if you guys ever played an online league, but that's kind of how that works. Um, let's see. Ability to approve trades. That's cool. I like that because that makes it a lot easier. Ability to reset a game in case of a disconnect. That's cool too in case there's a disconnect at halftime and the score stays at 1420 and that's it. The game's over and now the person lost. And especially if it's a playoff game, like a playoff game slash a game you need to win to make playoffs. For Madden 22, it is still very early. We we're at the very beginning of the planning and pre-production of next year's product. Now, this is what they're looking for for 22. Coaching and staff management, whatever that means. Scouting improvements, yes. Scouting is a little bland. It's very generic. I would like to see some kind of improvement in that area. Uh, new scenario engine enhancements. That would be cool. It means like more scenarios, like week-to-week things, like how there's breakout games and stuff. There'll be more immersion in that. New team chemistry system, kind of like FIFA has maybe. That would be cool. Kind of like how they have more morale now, but I guess tying it all together. Commissioner tool improvements, even more. More content, relocation, branding assets for franchises, new uniforms, names, logos. It's pretty much if you're like a franchise guy, like you like to be an owner, you like to relocate and have more options for the team name and the jerseys and everything. That's probably where you will, you're going to be suited more. You're involved in as a community, so this is where we're at. So still a lot of work to be done. Okay, the last thing to cover is how you as a community can stay involved. During the Madden 21 closed beta, the team utilized a feedback pl- uh, platform called Madden Voice. It's an online forum or communities. Okay, we know about all that. So new feature reveal. We look at every new feature and live ups new feature reveal, gather community feedback, analyze and evaluate feedback, make adjustments, and share plans when possible. We look forward to the start of Madden 21 season on August 28th. We have more updates on the Madden Voice platform as it comes close to launch. That is cool. So we can like pretty much just like in there on that forum, just kind of react to what we feel like. Anything goes wrong, just hop on there real quick. You know, this is broken in the thing. So people don't always like bring enough light to things. So they're too lazy to go ahead and actually like communicate or call EA about it. And there's really never been a great place to go ahead and do that. So pretty much wraps up everything. So, I mean, it's nice to see that the Fix Madden franchise hashtag actually brought along some reaction, some change. Now, what this pretty much means, though, guys, in, like, a short-term list pretty much means for, we're still going to get franchise day one the way they pretty much planned as sending it with nothing in it. And this is just stuff they're going to work on after the game. So pretty much, in shortest terms, they still didn't really care. They're still putting out the game that they, they were going to put out regardless. And then once the game's out and they can, like, relax a little bit and that whole first day drop is out, they're going to go ahead and then start working in their free time on this slowly and slowly. So hopefully it comes uh, quickly, though, because stuff like this is important. Hopefully this does update directly into franchise because I've heard some stuff about, like, franchises not having the patches and stuff after they've already started. So hopefully this stuff can just completely update right into the franchise mode that you're currently playing. So you don't have to restart, you know, because some people take it very seriously and play long-term franchises with multiple groups of people. Other than that, I mean, it is cool to hear they're doing stuff because before it was like franchise literally had nothing. Like the franchise uh, updates, like the Red Eye for the first time, was just fixing things that we were hit issues with, like lineman progression. Like, no, that was an issue already. We were going to fix that regardless. That should have been fixed this year. So, like, it was, and no, there was no new features at all. But hopefully, you know, with this, they're going to go ahead and actually go ahead and fix that. But, guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed today's video, go down below, hit that like button. Let me know down below how excited you guys are for Madden 21. Do you guys even play franchise? If you do, what's your favorite feature here? I think mine is the X Factor Superstar ability customization. Super important if you're a franchise guy. But that's about it. Smack the like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification boys. Get ready. We're only about two weeks out from Madden 21 esque news and Madden 21 everything. So I'm really excited. But guys, I'm out. Peace. Just go over something real quick, just so you guys do know. Um, this is the first like franchise level news we're getting and we've already gotten reg news so the only news left that we really have left before i go back i'm probably cutting some in the video the only news we really have left is mutt news now that is august 18th so i know most of you guys here should be mutt related now we can only hope that marksman or mutt leaks or any of those guys get us some news out by hopefully before the 18th because the 18th is only like three or four days before ea access actually drops so we hope there'll be something else, but otherwise, we went up getting the blog and we went up getting to the mutt database all until 18th. So, I mean, that's still only like two weeks and a day away. And that's still not the end of the world, but I would like to get some more, you know, the ball rolling. I feel like we have some nice momentum right now. This should be the, I mean, this is pretty much it. We got the franchise news, reg season, reg team news. All we have left really maybe some superstar KO level stuff, some yard stuff, and mutt, but I think they might tie that all around the same time just because that is going to be mutt based rewards as well and mutt draft, but that, again, that might be the same thing. But the banger's really mutt here, so we can only hope that they go ahead and actually take that route. Uh, you know, we get some leaks ahead of time, you know, learn some mutt masters, learn some other stuff. But guys, that's about it. I hope that they did, um, we get some other news coming through. And 
about it. I'm, I'm super excited for the videos, guys. So let's get back into the rest of this video. Just wanted to cover that for you guys who might have been wondering the whole news timeline. More or less to keep him up close to the chest to the last possible day, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. We have to deal with it. It's EA, guys.